Hi everyone, my name is Camille Adams and I am one of our registered dietitians here for the YMCA of Greater Grand Rapids. I'm so excited to film our Cook It Up recipes. Cook It Up is a program that we sponsor here at the YMCA. We go into elementary and middle schools all around Grand Rapids and we bring fresh produce and funky recipes that these kids may have never tried to those schools and those kids. We have instructors that go into our schools and they teach, just like you will see me teaching here, how to make functional recipes that will last for life. We also try to put a healthy twist on everything that we do. And I'm super excited to be here today. Hi everyone, today we are cooking it up. Again, I'm so excited to come back and bring you healthy and nutritious recipes. Today we are making a classic, a signature dish known throughout all time with a healthy twist. Today we are making BLTs. We're also going to be using turkey bacon today instead of a regular pork-based bacon. The reason why we're doing that is because regular bacon can be really high in fat and sodium. And so when thinking about how can I make a BLT sandwich a more than sometimes sandwich, it's great to swap out and use a turkey bacon. Of course, we're also going to use a beautiful tomato. You want to use specifically a wide tomato as we're gonna be doing thick slices in our sandwich. Any type of lettuce will do. Today we're using romaine. And the mayonnaise that I'm using is an olive oil-based mayo. Now they're making all different kinds of new healthy dips, but this is something that I say it's great to splurge on. Try to get an olive oil or an avocado oil-based mayo. It really can change your health. And then we're just using a whole wheat bread today. Let's begin with cutting our ingredients and starting with our tomato. Now with our knife, we're going to make sure we're using knife safety and putting our hand that holds our produce in a claw shape. This can protect the fingers against getting cut with the knife. Always make sure you are using knife safety. So let's start with our tomato. We're going to put it this way and cut nice, long, thick slices. Tomatoes are so healthy for you. They're rich in nutrients and water and they make a great, great addition to a sandwich. They're nice and thick, so when you take a bite, you're getting lots of different flavors. You're going to get some crispy bacon, crunchy lettuce, and nice, thick, juicy tomato. I'm probably cutting these, I wanna say a quarter of an inch thick. You're only going to need a couple slices for your sandwich, so feel free to use the rest of your tomato for another dish. I know I did this last time, so I have to do it again. Tomato eyes! These are just so pretty, beautiful big slices of tomato packed with nutrients. Now we're going to go in with our romaine lettuce. We're going to chop off the bottom and discard it. And for these pieces of lettuce, again, we want it to cover the whole bread. As you can see, the tomato and the bread are similar in size. So I'm not going to cut my lettuce too tiny. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'll probably cut off the very tops of the leaves because they can get a little wilted. And that's it. This is one of the easiest recipes. It makes sense why it's a staple classic throughout time. Now it is time to cook our turkey bacon. So we have our pan in front of us. We're using an induction plate today, a hot plate, so it gets hot really fast. So we're going to push start, and then we're going to put it on medium heat. I have some neutral oil that we're using today. A trick that I like to show people when you don't have a tablespoon measure is usually the cap of the oil is around half a tablespoon in measure. I just think that's so cool. I've been doing that for so long, just using the cap because it's easy. And once I found out that that was something that people all over were doing, I was like, okay. I knew I was doing something right. My chef brain was on. So we're going to let this oil heat up just a little bit on medium heat. Here is our lovely turkey bacon in front of us. This is still a great source of protein, just like regular bacon. It just has less sodium and a lot less fat. So that means you can enjoy BLTs even more than you usually do. Okay, I'm going to spread my oil around the pan. And then we'll place three to four strips in the pan at a time.
We have our tongs. These are great to move and push the bacon around. Normal bacon, you don't put anything in the pan to start because it already has so much fat. Since turkey is a leaner protein, there's not as much fat on it, so that's why I put a little bit of oil in the pan to use as our cooking medium. It's already bubbling, mm, and it smells good. This has probably added kind of a smoky flavor to it, so it smells really good, and it kind of gets you feeling the same way that you would with regular hickory smoked bacon. Even though this isn't regular bacon, this can still pop just like regular bacon. So if you're making this with your child, always make sure you supervise and have them take a step back from the pan to ensure that they don't get burned. This does not take too long to fry up, so I'm going to flip them over and let it cook for about another minute or two on the other side. We'll give this a couple minutes to cook, and then we can start assembling our yummy BLTs. This is looking super good, smells great, and is super crispy. So now it's time to turn off the pan and set our bacon on a plate. Yay, now it's finally time to build our sandwich. So we're going to take two pieces of bread. Now disclaimer, this is my sandwich. So I'm going to build it the way I want, but you go ahead and build it any way that you want. Use your creativity. I have my two pieces of bread, and now I'm going to use some of my mayonnaise. This is an easy squeeze bottle, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit. That's so cute with the little curls on each side, and then spread it with my knife. Some people like to toast their bread for BLTs, but I just left it plain this time. That's really yummy though if you have the time and you want it to be even more crunchy. Now I will put a nice, beautiful, thick slice of tomato on my bread. It literally takes up almost the whole piece of bread. Look at that, so wonderful and healthy. I'm going to do two pieces of lettuce and then all my strips of bacon. This looks so good! I love it, and you can't even tell that this is turkey bacon. Shh, don't tell anyone. Maybe they won't even know. I'm going to combine the two halves of my sandwich together. Here it is, here is our finished turkey bacon BLT. So healthy with our beautiful beefsteak tomatoes, crunchy lettuce, and healthy turkey bacon. I'm going to cut this sandwich in half so we can see what the beautiful products are on the inside. Wow, look at this. Beautiful, I may say I wonder who cooked it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful recipe. For all details on the recipe, visit grymca.org under the recipes tab.